Well, this comes as um, Egyptian Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri is continuing the talks about the Middle East crisis uh, as part of the World Economic Forum in the in Saudi capital, Riyadh. Um, the, Egypt is optimistic about this round and the delegation from Hamas is here in Cairo, uh, basically to give its response um, to um, the final Israeli offer that has been uh, made and Egypt and Qatari delegations are leading these talks with Hamas. Now, um, it seems that so far Hamas has no major Major objections um, to the Israeli proposal, which has been described by the U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and also um, the um, British Foreign Minister, both describe it in Saudi Arabia uh, as a, an, a very generous uh, deal, and it basically. Uh, offers the release of thousands of Palestinian prisoners in return to Hamas releasing all the hostages it has um, since October um, 7. That basically uh, the offer also is divided onto two phases. The first phase will see a release of about 40 hostages by Hamas and a 40-day ceasefire, which will be followed by what the uh, document describes as, I'm um, quoting here, a sustainable calm which basically is a truce or a longer um, ceasefire that will follow the, and, and according which more hostages will be released until this deal is comprehensive. There doesn't seem, as I said, to be much of objections. After Hamas gives its response today, um, an Israeli delegation is expected to come um, to Cairo on Tuesday. That's tomorrow. Um, it will be composed by members of the security apparatus Shabak as well as the intelligence office, uh, the intelligence uh, department Mossad um, to give their final feedback and hopefully a deal can be announced by the end of Tuesday. That is everything goes as planned.